guys, welcome back to a new video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Very excited to be trying out this new eyeshadow palette from Lethal Cosmetics. Lethal Cosmetics recently dropped the One Up Collection, a gaming inspired makeup collection that included this really cute eyeshadow palette and a few different lip glosses. Fortunately, I wasn't able to pick up any of the lip glosses, but I did pick up the palette, which I think a lot of you will be very interested to see. I love this. Like, how cute is this packaging? The palette retails for $38, and it is in stock right now on the Lethal Cosmetics website. Lethal is a German-based indie makeup brand, and I ordered straight from their website. I have to say that they have amazingly fast shipping, good shipping. I've never had any issues when ordering straight from the Lethal Cosmetics website. I've always gotten my stuff rather quickly and this palette was no different. Um, Lethal Cosmetics is available here in the US at Camera Ready Cosmetics. Not too sure if this is still in stock on Camera Ready, but it is in stock right now on Lethal. So I'll have it linked to both places in case you decide that you wanna pick it up. I did use, I think I used Karen Harris's discount code, which is KH makeup. I'll have somebody's discount code, which is more, more than likely going to be hers, in the description box so that you can save a little bit of money in case you're going to want to place an order. And the highlighter I'm wearing is also from Lethal Cosmetics. This was part of the Night Flower collection, which by the way is an amazing collection. And I do have a video up on that. But let's open this little video game inspired makeup palette. Uh, I think you can see why I wanted to get this palette because we have a green section under player one one and then uh, we have some purples and stuff under player two I love this a nice mix of matte and shimmer shades I cannot wait to try this out for you guys I'm gonna be creating three looks with this palette and I'm just excited to dive on into this palette in case it is your first time here on my channel hi welcome my name is Steph I love doing makeup reviews this is what I do all day long new makeup reviews eyeshadow looks multiple looks with one palette you rarely ever see me do if I have a new eyeshadow palette just one look with it majority of the time I'm doing two three four some times six different looks uh, it just all depends what the collection calls for so if you want to see new makeup videos on pretty much a daily basis do me a favor click on that subscribe button also hit the bell notification icon so you'll be notified every time I do upload a new video I tend to upload in the evening during the week and on the weekend um, it varies, you know, sometimes in the morning, mid-afternoon, evening, just all depends. But uh, the point is, I do upload quite a bit. And if you enjoy watching today's video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up on your way out. All the makeup guys that I'm wearing on, off camera will be linked and listed in the description box of today's video. Some of those things might be affiliate links, so if you do end up shopping through them, I thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. Guys, I need to just give a quick shout out to this primer that I cannot put down. This is the new Essence Primer. This is the Hello Good Stuff. This is a dupe. I think a rather good dupe for the watermelon uh, glow dew drops from glow recipe I reserve that product more for skincare and this I have found is working really well as a primer it's definitely a glowy primer so those of you who want to have a glow maybe you have more dry skin this might be something you want to check out. It's only like $6, and I do think it's in stock right now on the Ulta website. Been loving this. You can definitely count on seeing this in my July favorites video. I already know it's gonna be there. But let's start today's video on the new Lethal Cosmetics 1UP eyeshadow palette. If you want to see the three looks I'm about to create, keep on watching. Now I've already primed my eyelids using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer and I need to give a shout out to another product that I have on right now. This is the new Fenty Lip Oil. This is Cherry Treat Conditioning Lip Oil. This stuff feels amazing, amazing. And I love the large doe foot applicator. Kapari recently dropped a lip oil as well. And I'm going to be interested to try that one out. I think they might be having a sale. So either Fenty or Kopari, I think one of those. This one just feels so good. I'm pretty sure the Kopari one is going to feel equally as good. So um, I'm going to have them linked in the description box because right now I'm loving, loving a lip oil. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with green because, you know, why not? I'm really, really looking forward to these two shades right here. So like these three, I'm going to do in the crease, 
transition, all that good stuff, outer corner, and then we'll take it from there. Start with this shade right here. The shade is called Insert Coin. I'm taking Insert Coin on a Game Beauty E01. How appropriate, right? We have a gaming inspired makeup brand and a game inspired makeup collection from two of my favorite indie brands. I love a shade like this. This is one of my most favorite shades to work with. I just think it's so much fun, so bright, so fun. But it doesn't have to be the sprite. Like depending on what you pair with it, you can definitely tone it down. But I love it. Love it. This brush just does all the work. All the work for you. Game Beauty E01. This is a brush you need in your stash. Now I'm going to go in with that Kelly green shade right here. This one is called 8-Bit. Now I'm taking 8-Bit on a BK A502. How beautiful is this green? Like a true green. Now on a BK A504, I'm going to go in with this shade right here, this looks like it might be a satin shade. But that's okay if it is. This one's called Power Up. I thought this was a really cute concept, a really cute collection. I should have picked up a gloss. Now that I think about it, they looked really good, but I've just been buying too much lately, guys. I need to. I need to calm down a little bit, get caught up. Not sure about this green shade. Don't know that it's performing the way I thought. Oh, there we go. Just got to build it up a little bit. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of 8-bit right here just to blend them. I'm going to try a different brush. This is the BK Beauty 203. This is more of like a packing brush. Oh, and also because I think this is more of a satin. Never mind. That's why. That might be the weak shade in this palette. I think you're going to want to pack it first with a brush like this and then just lightly blend it with a little brush like this. All right, so now I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do the blue, this like blue green shade over here. This one's called High Score. And I'm taking that shade on a damp Morphe M124. Oh my goodness. I did feel a little bit of fallout. Wow. I'm not taking it to the inner corner. I'm going to reserve that for another shade. That's beautiful. I'm going to go in and add some 8 bit, which was the second shade. Now I'm going to go in with this shade right here. The shade is called uh, Final Boss. And I'm using a damp Refer 26. That's a beautiful shade. Bring that down a little bit. Adding a little bit of power up the dark green. Now for the lower lash line, I think I just want to keep it maybe like to these two shades. I'm going to start first with um, 8-bit. And I'm using the Refer 26. Now I'm going to add a little bit of insert coin right below. I'm bringing down some of that shade Final Boss on a damp refer 03. And with that, guys, I'm going to add the finishing touches off camera. And I'll be right back to show you the completed look number one. 
All right guys, here's the completed look number one. The mascara I'll be using in today's video is this one from Revlon. It is the So Fierce Eyes Wide Open Mascara. Uh, top lash line, wet and wild breakup proof liquid liner. And for the lower waterline, I wanted to do something a little bit blue to kind of just pick up on that inner corner highlight. And I went in with a ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Big Splash. And this is the look. I did add a, a lip gloss on top of the Fenty lip oil, and it is this one right here from Unearthly Cosmetics. This is the Cupid lip gloss. Love the look. Love how juicy my lips feel. Let's move on over to the left eye and start working on look number two. All right, so for look number two, I feel like I want to pack this shade on all over the lid and then maybe use a little bit of the purple maybe to blend out and then do a pink lower lash line. So I'm going to start that way and the shade that I'm going to start off with is called Hit Point. And I'm taking this shade on a BK206. The 206 or one is the 206. All right, now I don't know that I'm going to add any of that purple. This shade is pretty good on its own. I am going to uh, just blend out the edge though, but I'll probably just do that using some of the same shade. I'm getting a Refer 14 with just a very tiny amount of product, and I'm just going to use that to kind of just shape the edge. That is a really good blend, really good shade. Great payoff there. Okay, now I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do this shade right here. The shade looks so pretty. This one is called Bonus. I'm using a damp Morphe M124. So this is one of those shades that, like kind of like a topper shade depending on what you have underneath, like it's definitely gonna give you a reflect of that. Because for me in the pan, it looked a little bit lavender pink. And now that I have it on the eye, it's clearly looking teal green, which is fine by me. And you guys know I love these shades and these tones. That is a pretty awesome shadow. Okay, now for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the hot pink. This shade is called Combo, and I'm using a Refer 26. Oh my goodness, this shade is beautiful. That's a good pink. There's a little bit of kick up in the pan with uh, the matte shades in particular, but it's no big deal, guys. It's expected. I haven't really gotten much fallout, which is great. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the shade called Game Over to the inner corner. I'm going to use that same Refer 26, but I am going to spray it with some setting spray. Okay, this palette is game on. Definitely not game over for this palette. I'm liking it. I'm liking all of these shades. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. Okay guys, I'm gonna add the finishing touches and I'll be right back to show you the completed look number two. All right guys, here's the completed look number two. Loving the color combination. Oh, it's so pretty, it's so pretty. You can see I did get a little bit of fallout there. So maybe you wanna do your eyes first or just lay down some extra setting powder. For the lower lash line, I went in with a NYX Epic Wear Liner. This is the shade Pink Spirit, same mascara. Little bit of the Wet n Wild uh, Breakup Proof Liquid Liner for the top lash line. This is it guys, two amazing looks. Like I love these shades. These are some of my favorite colors to work with. Um, I think I'm gonna remove this eye and then I'll come back and we'll start working on the third and final look. Okay guys, so for look number three, I definitely need to use the purple because that is the only matte shade I haven't used. And then the only shimmer shades that I haven't used are Split Screen and Avatar. So um, I think I'm going to do the purple like in the crease and then we'll take it from there. Purple shade is called Joystick and I'm taking that on a refer 14.
gonna wing it out a little bit. Now I think I'm gonna just add a shimmer and I'm gonna add this one. This one's called split screen. I'm gonna start placing that in here. Now you could have cut the crease, like I could have done that, but I don't really know that I need to. It has like a very pale green shift to it, which you know I don't mind. Ooh, I like the way that looks quite a bit. Okay, now I'm going to use Avatar on the lower lash line. I'm taking that shade on a damp Refer 26. And I'm probably going to bring split screen down the shade I have on the lid. This is a beautiful green shimmer. You can achieve a lot of looks, different looks with this palette just by packing a shade on the lid the way I did over here, one of the matte shades, and then doing a shimmer on top. Like that is a very easy way to use this palette. So now I'm using a damp refer 03 for split screen. Okay guys, I'm going to add the finishing touches off camera. This was a very quick look, quick and easy look, but still makes a statement and I will be right back to show you the completed look number three. Okay guys so here is the third and final look with this new Lethal Cosmetics One Up palette. Very quick, very easy. I touched up the mascara and for the lower waterline I went in with another NYX Epic Wear liner. This one is in the shade Intense Teal and this is the look. Really guys it was really easy to achieve this one. This was probably the easiest out of them all. But let me go ahead, wrap up today's video, and I'll share with you guys my final thoughts on the 1UP palette in case you don't know them already. Okay guys, so after creating three looks with 1UP, I like it. I mean, what's not to like first and foremost about the cover of it? I think we all played video games growing up. Some of us still play them. I unfortunately don't get to play video games all that often really, but I did play them growing up and I'll play the occasional game on my iPad every now and then. When we open up the palette, you do get a mirror and then it's in the shape of a game controller. And so you have player one, player two, and then you have the 12 different shades. These shades are beautiful, beautiful. The only shade they gave me a little bit of a hiccup was the shade right here, but it could have just been my eye, could have just been the brush, um, but you'll probably need a little bit of extra blending time, packing first and then lightly blending with this particular shade. Everything else guys performs so well. I am gonna recommend using some glitter primer. Get that NYX glitter primer, apply it on your lid or wherever you're going to place the shimmer shade and then go in with it. Um, a lot of these are very textured, very finely milled uh, shimmer shades. So you will get a little bit of fallout if you don't uh, lay down that extra setting powder or go in with the glitter primer. Those are the two things that I definitely recommend or maybe just do your eyes first. I don't like to do my eyes first. I like to have the complexion done and then do my eyes. Uh, so for me, next time I use this palette, I'll definitely incorporate some glitter glue, but I love the color story. I mean, what's not to love? There's green in it, hello. And I love this hot pink, this purple. Purple is a really good purple. I just love everything that I was able to achieve with this palette. It's not a big palette. I mean, I'm holding it in one hand, so I like it. You're gonna see it displayed behind me. I think it is another winner from Lethal Cosmetics. So far, Lethal is on a roll. Ever since that Night Flower palette came out, um, when was that, like in February or March? That was a fantastic palette. If you haven't bought that palette and maybe you're just trying to decide what should I get from Lethal, maybe you're going to place an order for this, 
definitely try the night flower palette i would definitely recommend their highlighters um, and of course their gel liners why didn't i pull out any of the gel liners and i just totally forgot to bring them out but lethal cosmetics does make amazing gel liners and they stay really well in the waterline guys this collection again it includes the eyeshadow palette it is in stock on the lethal cosmetics website it retails for 38 dollars and they did release some uh, lip glosses i want to say there was like maybe six different shades of lip glosses uh, but you can find everything on the lethal cosmetics website and also on the camera ready cosmetics website if you're here in the u.s i'm gonna give the palette two thumbs up I loved it. I loved playing with it. I can definitely see an improvement in the overall quality of the Lethal Shadows. Uh, they just keep getting better and better. I think this year they've done some really nice collections and I'm looking forward to seeing what they have in store for us, especially in the fall. But let me know your thoughts, guys. Which look did you like best? Are you team one, two, three, none? Sound off in the comments down below and let me know if this is on your radar, if you're going to be picking it up. Maybe you got it already or maybe you're going to pass leave it all in the comments down below i want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos you all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated guys drink your water cheers and i will see you all very soon bye